had kind of a cool experience happen the other day and it started up all of these different thoughts that I have not thought about in a while and I wanted to talk about it with you guys because I feel like when it comes to this subject, especially in the way that I grew up, this subject can be really touchy for a lot of Christians and also confusing to those that have been brought up in a hyper-conservative fundamentalist group and then when you leave feeling like who am I without these things and so something happened to me that I thought was really really cool and it was just like Jesus it's just like Jesus to do something like this so the other day I was walking around Walmart and I had just got done working out literally had went on like several miles, done several miles. I'm walking around Walmart and listening to a podcast. Shout out to That's The Point Podcast with John and Kristen. And they were also like spitting fire that day. So they were, <laughs> it was convicting. They were preaching. It was good. It was a really good episode, solid episode. I'm listening to it. So I have my earbuds in and I'm walking around Walmart doing my shopping. And uh, this girl is passing me in the aisle and she says something to me. So I take my earbuds out and she's just like, I just love your whole look. Mind you, I think I look like a raccoon in the garage. I had just gotten done working out. So I was not dressed up or anything. And I was just like, oh, wow. Thank you so much. Like this, that means so much to me. She's like, you're just so light. And she we started talking and she, and I told her how much I appreciated her stopping me and how she made my day and she said something along the lines of well I think it's just really important to spread positivity and I think a lot of people are like trash cans and they just dump trash on everybody I'm like that's a great that's a great point you know um and I said I think a lot of people don't know what to do with their negativity and I said for me I have Jesus. I said, I'm a Christian. Jesus saved my life. And I give him all of my trash, all of my negativity, all of the things that happen. I give it to him. And her eyes kind of like lit up a little bit. And I got her name. And then on the way out, when I was done checking out, I was walking out and she was standing there. She was an employee actually. And so that was just a really cool experience. And I really felt like this isn't the first time something like this has happened to me since I've left um, legalism and since, since I've changed my dress code and and changed my way of living because the Lord has changed everything in my life. This was really unique to me because I was always raised to believe that you are set apart from the world by the way you look. And I spent the first 20 years of my life only wearing skirts and dresses. And so this girl recognized me in workout clothing. I was literally wearing like loose sweatpants and my hair is short and I had makeup on, but she recognized the Holy Spirit in me and had nothing to do with me whatsoever. It was, it was just the joy that the Lord has given me. It was, it's the gift of God, you know, and the transformation that he's done in my heart and in my life. And I think that it's so interesting because I always thought that it was about me before. You know, I thought that the things that I did by having long hair, not cutting my hair, not wearing women's pants, not doing all of these things is what made me different from the world. And this was just one instance that happened recently that I was like, I was just me i was just normal i was just walking around in walmart and someone sensed the holy spirit in me and it was like wow jesus that's just like you it's just like you to make it about you and not about me it had nothing to do with me it's just the things that he's done in my heart and in my life and i think that these ideologies that we have to do these things to be set apart from the world like it's so interesting to me because when you become a Christian, the Lord starts stripping things away from you 
and you are already a child of God. You're already not the world. You're, you're already not part of the world. When you become a Christian, you accept Christ and the Holy Spirit dwells in you and you allow the sanctification process to take place. These sins and these things that you used to participate in, they start just going away because of the goodness of God and because of who he is and he he cleanses us and he makes us new and it's not something that we have to do now there's a verse that says you know faith without works is dead i believe those works will flow they will flow from you as a product of what the lord has done in you that doesn't mean that you have to earn your salvation by doing good works now, do I think that anything is wrong with women wearing skirts? No, I still love wearing dresses and skirts, and I don't think anything's wrong with women having long hair. But when we put our identities into it and say that this is what makes me different, it's not true. Like, I heard a lot growing up of like, how will people know you're a Christian if you, if you wear women's pants or if you cut your hair or if you wear makeup? It's like the Holy Spirit. Are you really that closed-minded and you put everything in a box and you put God in a box that he won't dwell in you and he won't work through you and he won't speak through you because he is so good. Is he not magnificent? Is he not holy? Is he not all-knowing? Like, that's so wild to me that I thought that I had to look so different to be set apart. It's like, no, the Holy Spirit has already set me apart. I am set apart because I am a child of God, period. Like that's, that's it at the end of the day. And so all of these other things, they, they're just extras, <laughs> you know, like if you have personal convictions, follow them. But at the end of the day, you have to realize that what sets you apart is Jesus. Jesus is what sets you apart. Jesus's blood what he has done, what he is doing, like he is actively moving, he is actively working, and he is enough. There's nothing that we could ever do that would take that, the place of that, or, or even come close. If you come across this video and you've left some kind of legalism or hyper-fundamentalism or a high control group, and you've been stressed about if I leave these things that I've been taught make me different, what will I have? I want to encourage you that you'll have Jesus, that you'll have his working and the dwelling of the Holy Spirit in your life and you can humble yourself before him and he will fill you with his spirit and he will work in your daily life. And you don't have to do all of these extra things to try to earn his love or earn your way to heaven or any of that. Like he is enough. And if you are walking in that way and you are humbling yourself before him, everything else will follow. You'll want to, to serve him with your whole being, with your whole life. And that is just like Jesus, you know, he, he changes everything. And I hope that story encourages you today. I hope that when you pray and you bring this to the Lord, that you really allow him to work in this, because I think that this goes so much deeper, even if you haven't been raised like in hyper fundamentalism or a high control group, like the depth of this conversation and being set apart by the Holy Spirit means so much because if we rely on anything other than the finished work of Jesus Christ, then we are submitting to an idol. Like he is so good and he is enough. And wow, the beauty of the gospel, it never ceases to amaze me.